Tiling is the concept of designing a pattern with objects created in Inkscape. We'll begin by learning the fundamentals of Tiling dialog box. Open the dialog box by choosing Edit, Clone, and Create Clone. Our Symmetry tab allows you to create the basic layout of your patterns, including rotation, reflection, and density. You can also change the number of rows and columns, as well as the width and height. The Shift tab will change the X and Y coordinates per row or per column. The Scale tab involves the size of your objects within your pattern by using X and Y coordinates. Rotation includes changing the angle per row or per column. Blur and Opacity allows you to change the image within your pattern using Blur and or Fade Out. The Color tab allows you to change the initial color as well as per row or per column. The Trace option allows you to change the color, opacity, and tweak and include a variety of values to add to your clone. We'll start our sample using a simple circle shape and dark color to make it easier to see the changes occurring when we use our cloning options. Now we'll click on Edit, Clone, and then Clone Tiled Options. We'll change the symmetry to Reflection, Glide Reflection, and make the rows and columns 5. We'll set the Shift X to to 0.6 for the rows and columns. We'll click on alternate for both as well. For scale, we'll randomize to 1.1% and click alternate for both rows and columns. For blur and opacity, we'll choose 11.7% for randomize and fade out to 15.2. We'll leave the color and trace options as they are. Now click Create, and as you can see, our image is 5x5, five five, and some circles are blurred. We can shift the entire pattern or rotate the images with the angle options. You can change the symmetry again to see a different view and we'll click on Rotation and then Unclump. Our image is now an entirely different pattern.